now that we've talked about how we can dock our boat, there might be a time when you come back and you don't want to go back to the dock, but you want to go to one of the moorings out in the mooring basin. Uh, and our maneuver is very similar uh, with one slight difference. We'd like to approach the moorings in their final approach, always on a close reach, luffing, easy, having eased our sails, luffing our sails, so that we have enough glide zone, enough length to slow the boat to almost a stop. We'd prefer to do it on a close reach rather than in irons or the no-go zone in case we have to sail around again because then it's easy for us to pull the, the main sheet in, begin to power the boat up and sail away. So our approach, if we're coming in and we'd like to be at this mooring and the wind is coming in this direction, we're able to sail up uh, on a close reach, and what we need to think about at this point is how can I get over to that mooring? Uh, and I could probably sail up this way and then tack over. Uh, and depending upon clearance, I could actually start to come in this way, depowering the sails on a close reach so that I can be pretty much stopped right at the mooring ball. Somebody can attach the mooring pendant and the boat's just going to fall down into the wind. Depending upon how the configuration is with other boats, you may have to, diff you may need to approach it differently. I may need to sail up this way in a close reach, then tack and come up. And I may or may not be able to come up, but let's assume that we could and depower the boat on a close reach. Uh, I could come down on a broad reach and actually turn the boat up. So any number of variables that allow me to approach that mooring on a close reach with enough room when I'm on the close reach that I can actually depower the boat.